Hello guys, we are Smarwir Nasina team from 11 Maret University Indonesia. My name is Hafid Mustafa Diatma. My name is Vincent Yusekso. My name is Ananung Anurikan. Our innovation is the utilization of waste concrete as quartz aggregate as well as glass and ceramic waste as binder substitution for the sustainability of high early strength self-compacting concrete. Based on data from the Asosiasi Perusahaan Prateta dan Prategang Indonesia, the production capacity of precast concrete every year shows an increasing trend. If in 2015 the national precast concrete production capacity was recorded at 25.30 million tons, the following years it rose to 26.70 million tons. In fact, last year the figure jumped to 35 million tons. The amount of glass waste in Indonesia, the based on statistical data from the Kementerian Negara Lingkungan Hidup Indonesia in 2008 state that glass waste produce, produced by 26 big cities in Indonesia reached 0.7 tons per year. The world ceramic industry grew by 6.03% in 2013 with a total production of 11,000 billion square meters. Indonesia produced 390 million square meters of ceramics or 3.3% of the world total production. Meanwhile, China, which is the world's largest producer, controls 47.8% of total world production. Our first innovation is waste concrete as a partial substitution of coarse aggregate. The reason we use waste concrete as a partial substitution of coarse aggregate is because this innovation can reduce the use of conventional coarse aggregate, which in its production process involves mining process that can damage the environment and ecosystem. In addition, the use of this innovation can reduce the unused concrete in our laboratory. We use waste concrete as a partial substitution of coarse aggregate because waste concrete is able to carry heavy compressive loads compared to other materials. We use this concrete waste as a partial substitution of coarse aggregate as much as 10% of the total aggregate. The concrete waste that we use is the waste concrete from the building columns because it has a better quality than other parts of the concrete. To maintain the quality of the concrete waste, we do quality control starting from the specific gravity, silt content, abrasion level, and the quality of the concrete from the waste concrete. In addition, the concrete waste that we use is concrete waste that passes the 9.25 mm shift and is retained on the 4.75 mm shift according to ISTM standard. The reason we use ceramic waste as a binder substitute is because ceramic waste contains a lot of silica which can trigger the pozzolan reaction and increase the long-term compressive strength of the concrete. And why do we use waste glass as a binder substitute? Silica is the dominant composition content in glass. The silica content can improve the binding process so it can reduce the use of cement that not environment friendly. Glass waste can be found in many places even it can be recycled. In fact, there is still a lot of glass waste that has not been used optimally, especially broken glass. We get glass waste from the rest of the glass bottle and broken window glass that are available around our campus and home. With the use of glass waste, we hope that more jobs will be created due to increasing demand for glass as a substitute for binder. In addition, a positive environmental impact can be created due to reduce waste in the environment. Same as glass waste, we use ceramic waste as a binder substitute. The raw ceramics from the demolition of buildings such as used toilet, floor tiles, and other are crushed with crushing machine until the size passes through the shift number 200. In addition, to the environmental aspect that have been mentioned before, the use of ceramic waste as a binder substitute can reduce the use of cement which is less environment friendly in its production process because it involves combustion and mining process that produce carbon emission which can pollute the environment. That's all from our team. Thank you for watching and see you next time.